Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Studio Update. I'm just in the process of airbrushing up a whole set of System of Wargaming terrain. So these pieces just need the weathering and dusting added to them, but they have been done up in a cool gray scheme. Under that tape is the same cool gray scheme, but these guys are going to become this uh, red color. So these guys need uh, all the dusting and object source lighting. The top of this tower needs to be painted, but all of the rest of the work actually got done, so it's got all this dusting and a little bit of rust work there. I still need to do the grime streaking on that one and whatnot. It's the same thing, I got the bottom of this one done. So the top's going to be a different color, and the floor is going to be a different color. Well, it's going to be this color. Then the walls will be a different color. And then I got all these buildings to do, so I base coated this one with this green color, but it's going to be a lot, lot different color than that when I'm fully done. So there'll be a couple of green ones, a couple of these red burgundy ones, and whatnot. Sorry, this light's kind of bright, but it's quite a few buildings there, and then a whole bunch of like roof uh, and decking material there. And over here, I have just some minis to paint for myself whenever. This is the all the pieces for going in here. It's kind of like that. And all these pieces have been airbrushed up with the dusting and the cool gray scheme. And I'm just going to come in with my flex paste, Woodland Scenics Soft Snowflake, and I got some Woodland Scenics Realistic Water uh, water Effects. This is to make some icicles. So these guys all need to attach together, so I can't put any snow where any of these are. So I'm just going to put little bits of snow, just little bits on these guys. Not every single one of them is going to get it, but I have them all over here. And I have these generator pieces done. And up top, I'm not going to really put any snow because I think the generator would be like hot or something or melt the snow. So I'm going to put snow down around this bottom part. And then we have this one calm relay. It's going to get some snow on it. Everything's going to get snow, so I'm going to stop saying that. <laughs> we got this other guy here. All these pieces are attached. And this is the all the work for the red guys will sit inside of here. So it'll look cool when it's done. And then these are the uh, power grid guys. I didn't want to put any snow on them or anything. I just thought they were, you know, simple little pieces. So they're done and sitting here. I have some a bunch of orc faces and whatnot cut out for mini wargaming orc terrain set that I'm going to start building tomorrow because it is 1am and I want to go to bed these are Warsenal um, cryo chambers that I airbrushed up while I was painting the other stuff really quickly I've got this little acrylic piece in there so there's just two of those guys and I'm going to do a review and pictures of not not a review, but just some pics of those guys tomorrow. And I will do a showcase review video and pics of these guys tomorrow. These are brush for hire. Uh, I don't know what they call them. Just little barriers. But I was given these by Austin at Adepticon, so I will do a little review for him. And I just got my grime streaking set up there, AK Interac Interactive Grime Streaking, some Orderless Mineral Spirits, and two brushes to work it, and then just a cup there. So, oh, and I got a whole bunch of stuff to do the orc terrain there. So I will have another studio update in the next two days here. So thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll have more videos to come.